There may be a financial crisis, but one place is continuing to prosper. On this site, the European Union is building a presidential palace to rival the White House. Paying for it shouldn't be a problem, as the EU is demanding a large increase to its budget next year. When you look at the budget, it goes to, um, to research, it goes to uh, small and medium enterprises, it goes into infrastructure, into energy projects. It's not money for Brussels, it's money for 500 million Europeans. The 2011 budget will be decided over the next few weeks. The Commission wants a 5.9% increase, lifting annual spending to £114 billion. Pounds. The money will be spent on things like regional and agricultural subsidies. But it also includes an 85% rise to the entertainment budget for members of the European Parliament. So much of this spending is excess. So much of it is entertaining. So much of it is actually supporting the personal lives of the people running the European Union. And, 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 and frankly, even though the Lisbon Treaty gives the EU more power, there must be an argument for cost-cutting and saving somewhere. The European Union's 2011 budget has been seized upon by Eurosceptics, as you might expect. For many working men and women, the taxpayers will also find the budget rises contained in this document hard to swallow at a time when money is short. At this thrift store in Brussels, shoppers are making sacrifices. They believe the European Union should also watch what it spends. Les gens sont saturés, ils se débrouillent comme ils peuvent pour le moment. People are already struggling. They're making do for the moment, so I don't see how they can make demand for more money. It's just not viable. The European Union says the extra money will be ploughed back into member states and people's pockets. But its budget increase may well be blocked by national governments. At a time when citizens are being asked to accept cuts, they say Brussels is out of touch. Alex Rossi, Sky News.